In the Lazy Boy Green Room, welcome, Scott Matthews. Hello. Your style is kind of hard to describe. I try. Let's see if you can do it. Uh, you're kind of a Ry Cooter slide guitar style from time to time, and tomblet drums, kind of a Ravi Shankar sound. Yeah. How would you describe it? Um, yeah, it's kind of never really have one definite answer really for it. Um, I guess the only thing that I kind of do is like anybody and just just uh, kind of channel their inspirations and, and you know influences through into your, you know kind of manifest into your own kind of sound really. Um, again, it comes from a background of you know kind of growing up as a, as a teenager into all the electric guitar players of the day and Steve Ray Vaughan and Hendrix and stuff. But then, kind of the the last I don't know, six or seven years, it's been more kind of the, of the acoustic stuff really. Oh, there's the acoustic side of Zeppelin, which was mm -hmm. a big influence on, on like Led Zeppelin three and stuff, um, and uh, you know people like Bert Yanch and John Martin and um, John Remboys of this world, David Graham, all the kind of traditional English folk artists as well. Um, now you're from the same city that Robert Plant, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Is that kind of the folk, traditional folk style that the acoustic guitar side of Led Zeppelin seem to be? Um, British folk. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, I think that the folk music in general, there's a, there's a, it's a big scene kind of, you know, kind of all around England really. Mm -hmm. there's, there's always the uh, folk clubs and everything kind of, you know, every other night there's not being held, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the Midlands where I'm from is no exception, you know, it's, it seems to produce uh, many, many talented artists of, you know, a lot of people kind of keep fairly underground and stuff and um, there's some great players when I was kind of and we started up on my own. There was, you know, some really talented people around that. I think today, people don't really know, know too much about them. But um, yeah, I mean, my influences are kind of more from the, uh, uh, the, I don't know, the traditional kind of early '60s folk um, era. Really, um, got, I was fortunate enough to do a gig with Bert Jansch in uh, um, January of this year, and. Uh, Chopped a bit to meet him and everything, you know, a bit of a legend. And I've, Jimmy Page once said that he was a, uh, you know, completely had this uh, phase where he was just obsessed with Bert Jansch, you know, and mm -hmm. I see why he's just a fantastic player. And some of those kind of ideas and tunings and things just kind of come out in my re music as well. So that's a bit of, a, bit of everything there. I hear kind of a, a kind of a greasy Delta blues feel in some of your songs, but they're not really blues songs. Yeah, uh, was yeah. it like Robert Johnson? Oh yeah, the old yeah, video? yeah, definitely. Or even Clapton for that matter? Yeah, oh, Robert Johnson. Where they went with it? Definitely was the kind of. Oh no, well, you, you, you listen to his stuff and you just think, you know, just for that guy to produce recording it one live take, and just yeah. think there's so much more going on. And they're so old. I mean, imagine if it was. Thirty nine was it? Nineteen thirty nine or something? Yeah, in a hotel room. You know, and it's, it's so scratchy. It's like, imagine if there was more. Yeah, and if it was really clean recording. And the, well, yeah, and the fact that he couldn't kind of face anybody when he was recording, he had to kind mm. of face the wall playing his yeah. music. That's kind of strange. Just to you just to kind of drop this image of this legend in the making. You know, just kind of sitting in this room playing his bunch of songs. To probably had a microphone coming down yeah. from the ceiling or yeah. something, just hanging there. But yeah, definitely the, the the blues element. It's kind of there, but it's not full blown kind of blues songs. Yeah. Um, it's something I'd like to do in the near future. Um, definitely, but uh, I think uh, I'm just kind of getting into a bit more. I suppose the last few years, more of the songwriting approach of, you know, um, maybe uh, the, the next record probably a bit more kind of uh, words-based music really, and uh, just kind of communicate through through the words, you know, a lot stronger than the previous record. But uh, yeah, you know, there's uh, anyway. Going back to the point, there's all kinds of diversions and stuff, and it all seems to come together some way. Well, your album that's out now, Passing Stranger, you know, it was a demo, and then it was released as an independent, kind of small yeah. release, you know, and then Island Records signed you, and they re-released it. Mm -hmm. But did you work over the tracks? Did you fuss over them when no, you we, had the chance, or is it just we, as we, it was when we first recorded We kept the original format, yeah. The, the one thing we done when we... Uh, on the deal with Island Records, we just said everything's going to stay exactly the same. The album content, the artwork, um, and that was, you know, good enough to kind of let us go with that. And uh, you did some of the artwork, though. in a fashion, yeah. He's kind of just thrown together, really. But uh, 
Yeah, it was, you know, as it was, sort of, the, those, those recordings were we got the same. And um, yeah, I was kind of pleased with them, but you know, I've definitely heard them quite a few times <laughs> since. Because obviously back in England, the album's been out for a year and a half now. Yeah. So uh, it's all kind of new to you guys at the moment, and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty exciting fresh, actually. Yeah. Just to get people's first reactions again to the music and kind of brings back a few memories and stuff. You know, so. so no pressure, but uh, are you writing? Is there an, another album yeah. coming up or yeah, in the works? Definitely, yeah. It's, uh, I've actually been kind of giving this a lot of thought and um, definitely where, thinking of where the record's going and the, the, the sound of my music, where it's going. Uh, there's probably stuff I won't do again off the first record. You know, I think I made a few mistakes here and there, but um, generally, I think I'm more focused now on where my strengths are and um, and the kind of record I want to produce as well. You know, I've, I'm a big fan of uh, Tom White's approach of the whole mood records and mm -hmm. you know the theme and it's just a certain kind of feeling that you have when you put on a certain record. Or you know, I'm just more conscious of making a record that has a certain emotion and leaves you feeling in a certain way at the end of it, uh, rather than kind of diverting all over the shop and you know mm -hmm. uh, making people are tad unsure about you know, how they feel at the end of it. Yeah. I think I'd like to do something where you just concentrate on a certain mood, definitely. Cool. Yeah. But I've got a lot of songs anyway. Well, Tom Waits would like go out in the parking lot and beat yeah. cardboard boxes and stuff. <laughs> yeah. though. That's one approach. But, uh, well, actually, yeah, I mean, I, I do like these approach to just kind of use a unique edge to, to recording and it's just his approach to actually re putting sounds down to tape, you know, mm -hmm. it's really refreshing even still just to Listen to what he does now, it's fascinating, really. It's, and it's, but it's only been the last couple of years when I've been taking a lot more notice of you know, what he does. And uh, I think I've got nearly all his albums now. Uh, and now uh, there's just uh, absolutely loads of kind of uh, vibes and stuff, and you just take loads of inspiration from it. And again, from early, you know, kind of channel that back into some of your own stuff, you know, and just to see what you can kind of take from oh, that. Yeah, yeah. The album is Passing Stranger. It's a great CD. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. Good, dude. Thanks.